Hello, good afternoon, welcome to ClementTech.net for all learning using new technology. And today, 2022, September 11th, Sunday, have a nice weekend, let's begin. And today we have a very simple example of why um, IN is it, a very good statement. Um, it's very powerful, um, but unfortunately for multiple um, testing, it's not. So convenient. For example, if I say at test one, you get line. We have a full. If a test, we have a full in here. You can run. Yes, it's true. Okay. And suppose that I found a, a bar. Is yet a, no, not a test one, but test two. Yeah, it's true. Okay. But how about full or bar? That is not possible. Okay, so this is not good in this case. Therefore, a better use regular expression. Regular expression is very powerful. We can a chain of everything: bar, or okay, apple, orange, whatever. All the things that we can test whether it of or there or it mean all the mean or. So, okay, the match. As long as we have a full bar or, or an apple, it match. Unless you're nothing there, it's uh, okay, a banana. I don't know where the correction uh, Orange, because I know no. banana is hard to. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, that is not match, okay? Not match. That don't match. Okay, so when you have a lot of phrases to check to check whether the inside a text or the string then it is better to use regular expression. Also the control, it can control the case, ignore case, the both done. I remove it. But then even though you have an apple here, it doesn't work. Not match. Okay? But if you restore that, restore that, uh, regular expression with uh, ignore case, then even though you have an apple here, if, well, ignore case three, why? It's a mess, right? Ignore case. No, I don't know. Yeah, the match, okay. So in the case that uh, I would prefer to use regular expression, unless it's really, really, very simple, then I will use in. And the in is actually uh, also very... Okay, let's try again. Uh, if... Yeah, match. So in the very simple case that we used in, a slightly um, complicated or also looking for the future, then you may have add more tech to it than I would prefer to use regular expression. Okay, thank you for listening to this uh, sharing experience in Python working in Emacs. Okay, thank you. Bye.